Um, in this presentation, I will move into into the like details about how how we have been working in the uh, and use my um, PhD project as a little bit of a um, of an example. So the focus will be research methods and collaboration activities and how we have been using uh, case studies for validation. Let's see if um, I can. Um, yeah. So, Sophie already described earlier who we are in the sustainable product development team. We have different areas which we focus on, and in my PhD project, I have focused um, on how we can integrate sustainability in requirements development and management. So, how, how have we been working? At least I applied something that we call the design research methodology in order to, in the end, uh, contribute to both sustainable design practice and education. And in order to do that, we have mostly applied uh, qualitative uh, design research, but we have also included elements of um, quantitative uh, design uh, research design method. And something that is really important here is to have the uh, research questions at the core and then select research um, methods um, so that they fit well together and also apply different modes uh, or different methods for uh, validity checking so that you can ensure that the results that come out are really valid. And to structure a, a research project according to, uh, to this methodology means that you have four larger chunks of uh, uh, studies basically, where you first do something called research clarification, where you try to really define what the research gap or knowledge gap is. And then you move into sort of a descriptive phase where we can use uh, the companies as case studies, really knowing how the, this um, knowledge gap uh, looks like in practice. And then you move into something for, that we call a prescriptive study phase where we try to develop some sort of uh, support in order to uh, fill the gap. And then we can, again, go out to uh, to to use the companies or perhaps the students in order to describe and evaluate whether the tool that or the support that, that, that we can work actually work. And in order to do that, we can apply several types of methods, which might um, PhD project is an example of. You can see here that we've used both literature review, multiple case studies with interviews, we've used focus group studies, um, more comparative case studies, quasi experiments, and many other things. Um, so as I said, uh, in the beginning of a um, of a research project, we try to clarify the research objectives or what the research gap is, and then this type of systematic literature review can be very useful. But we also said that we wanted to describe the current, and that is when where the case studies where the company single uh, project has come in. And then in, in my case, we were able to identify how uh, different companies within the profile project were working with integrating sustainability in requirements. And therefore, we could also use case studies in order to prototype the support in order to improve how um, how companies can, can integrate sustainability into, into requirements. Um, and thereafter, we can use focus groups and also additional cases apart from the core case companies that contributed to my research in order to validate whether the support that we developed actually worked or not. And after that, we could uh, discuss whether our contribution has contributed either to, or how well it has contributed to practice and to education. So in this, there have been different modes of collaboration. Um, I divided those swiftly into three groups. First of all, internal collaborations only inside the project, but we have examples of 
um, where we have had combined projects between the really, really uh, sustainable product development research track and the value-driven design research track. So there we were able to both uh, develop some sort of support together um, between these two tracks and test that on both uh, in both company cases and on students. And uh, this led to um, a publication in a journal. And then we've had external uh, collaborations consisting of uh, us in the really sustainable product the development research team going to you, the company partner, um, but also involving uh, researchers from other uh, research institutes, but still under the umbrella of this uh, profile project. And then this project has also enabled us reaching out to other uh, other uh, research institutes abroad and other research in actors abroad. For instance, in the defining uh, society, as so we also uh, mentioned earlier, inside this project, we were able to conduct the uh, thing the design workshop at a large conference. But we have also been able to initiate the collaboration with a researcher at Stins uh, and at Stevens Institute of Technology, which was made was possible through um, the application and acceptance of a Erasmus initiation grant. We were able to uh, submit the Stins application, mm -hmm. and this has uh, led to a research study and, and conference, several conference papers, actually. So it means that collaboration partners have been key in order to reach the results uh, in this project. And you can see here only from my uh, own PhD research project that all the companies in the profile have been, have been contributing in different ways, both through this multiple case study in focus group studies, quality experiments, and also comparative case studies. And uh, I think I already mentioned um, this. I think I'll just go through um, these slides quite early. Yeah, quite fast. In the end, this means that we have been able to get uh, access to different types of research quality strategies by being able to collect information from different companies uh, we have been able to triangulate the uh, triangulate the research data seeing pattern which means you can see patterns um, showing up in, in several uh, industries uh, we've also been able to use member checking of the findings because you have actively have actively been involved in uh, in the uh, analysis of the research data that we have collected and analyzed We've also been able to do something called rich description of findings because we have been able to um, observe how you work with sustainable product development or how you can, um, uh, how you say that you could improve. And you've been given us access to to your daily work environment, basically. And since uh, you also have been uh, contributing with this membership, and you've also been able to help us report inconsistencies if we have um, if we have misunderstood something or if our assumptions were wrong, for instance. And the additional cases that uh, we were able to add with help from focus group studies where we have um, tried out and evaluated the support which we have suggested based on what we found, we have uh, been able to use call on research field time. And within our team, we've been able to uh, use peer debriefing not only inside our own uh, sustainable product development team, but also through access uh, to other research groups. And our collaboration have been um, have made it possible to also and uh, create the, or write journal papers or conference papers together, which undergo external audit. So this, in the end, makes us uh, quite comfortable feeling that the results that this profile project has generated are really valid and can make a contribution to both design, research, and practice. So I think that was it. <laughs>